CAU. If you're trying to grow your business, add diversity. It'll climb the tracks in university. When it comes to getting clients, you face adversity. You need to hit up, climb the tracks in university. Climb the tracks. Attraction University, 250 million in revenue for coaches, consultants, and service providers all across the globe. And that number is growing as you listen to this. Want more clients, profit, freedom, and impact? Go to paydadplaybook.com. If you're trying to grow your business, add diversity. Hit up client attraction university. When it comes to getting clients, you face adversity. You need to hit up client attraction university. Paydadplaybook.com. That's P A I D ad playbook.com. Hey everybody, it is your girl. I am back. It is Rochelle Shaw, president of communications here at Client Attraction University. And you know what day is? It's my favorite day of the week where I get to talk to our rock stars and those that have just come into our program and crushed it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to the show, Mr. Ernest Gates. And he is the president. What, what's your title there at the Profit Room? I am co-founder, CEO of The Proper. There we go. Co-founder, CEO. I just know him as the meme king. Like his memes are so good (laughs) that he has to brand them his own because they're so, they go viral. (laughs) I got to protect what I, what I I spend my time to create. Correct. (laughs) There you go. There you go. Well, you know, it's, it's always fun to talk to y'all because I get to learn so many amazing things, but tell everybody like, what is the profit room? What, what do y'all do? So the Profit Room is a stock market trading and investing company. So what we do is we educate people on learning how to trade the stock market and other financial markets to help them generate extra income, replace their income, or put them in a position to create generational wealth. So my goal is to make you an independent professional trader and investor so you can take care of your own financial needs on your own without needing anyone else. So that's what we do at the Proper Room. I love that. So independent professional trader, is that is that what you call it? Yeah, because you can be a prof- have a profession like you know like a plumber or electrician and people like myself, we they're called off the floor traders. So we don't work for a firm, we don't work for a bank or a hedge fund. So when somebody asks you, what is your profession? I say, I'm a trader as my profession. So I want to empower people to be able to say, hey, my profession is I do this and I also trade, right? So if they if they're generating income consistently, you can tell somebody, hey, I'm a pro- I'm professional at this because that's what you actually are. Like someone that does tiling, sheetrock whatever. I like to always, I'm skilled labor background. So I'm not going to just degrade or just say like blue collar, that's a skill. So if you're a skillful trader or investor, and you can prove that and show that that's your profession and you empower that. Gosh, I love that, but I'm scared to death. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) Like I'm just scared. Yeah. And I think that, you know, my favorite movie of all time is Trading Places, right? Correct. I love Eddie Murphy. I love how they just moved him and how he just logically was able to trade these things, right? Mm -hmm. But is is that what you're teaching people to do is to be just use their gut and the math? Like, Like, how does this thing work? So what I primarily do is simplify it. See, when you watch movies like that, Wall Street, And it's very intimidating, but it's not really that difficult. We simplify it in the way that a teenager can do it and also mature clients can do it. Like, so my average clients now for like the past, maybe six clients are late fifties to high sixties, 65, 66. I got a student of 72 that never traded or invested before and they know how to do it. Right. So it has nothing to do with math. It has a lot to do with understanding emotions, really, because all we're doing when we're in the market 
is just like you're in a flea market. You're buying and selling, right? Supply and demand. We make it relatable to you. Like we get people no real estate. You buy property, you sell property. It's the same thing when you're analyzing stocks and companies and things of that nature. The only thing we have to retrain your mind to think like a trader or an investor is very important because when you go to school, you have that thought concept of being right and wrong, right? Yes. And also as a business person, I'm successful at this business, so I'm be successful at trading. It doesn't work the same way. <laughs> we have to train your mind to understand that trading is probabilities. So we trade in probabilities. So it doesn't mean that you're going to always be right. You may be wrong. So it's just like the weather outside. When the weather person says there's a slight chance, 30% chance of rain, there's a 70% chance of rain. So you prepare to go outside on that percentage of rain, right? And it may not rain, but it will rain. So that's the same thing with trading and investing. There may be a 30% or 70% chance, right? So you financially prepare yourself to get in that trade based off of that percentage. So if it doesn't rain, you can't feel bad, right? Because there's no right or wrong. There's probabilities. And once you wrap yourself around that, you have more of a calmness, less fear, because you're preparing for that investment or trade. And more importantly, you don't feel like a failure if nothing happens because you know it's just probabilities. And that's the biggest thing with a lot of people. That's the biggest thing. Wow. No, that that, that makes so much sense, right? Because that's my first thing is like, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose it all. And I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to have any money. I used to tell people all the time, look, I'm, you know, I'm, I lived in Vegas 30 years. So <laughs> I, I am a gambler, but I gamble enough in my business. Oh, the stock market, like it always seems so intimidating. You talked about the probabilities. Is that what we're betting against or with, or do we only bet when the probability is 80 to 90%? Like, like, is there a secret sauce or, or how does that work? So on average, the best you can get in a trade is between a 70% to maybe 75% probability. Okay. That's the best you can actually get. Somebody's telling you 80 or 90%. Nope, it's not working like that. Okay. Because there's so many variables that happen. So what we're looking at is the anticipation on the movement to go in our favor. So as a trader, we're not thinking about the wins all the time. We're thinking how long can we stay in this game of trading with the amount of losses that we can sustain. Because if we get a good win, right, that's going to work in our favor. We know what can potentially happen. But what if it doesn't happen, right? A true trader or investor prepares for how many losses they can have or the amount of risk per trade. But people look at it vice versa because of the hype. So like I'll give you a a prime example. A simplified way of trading is like a one to three risk reward. Like say you're risking a dollar to make three dollars. So like some of my students, we have something very simple. Like imagine getting a hundred shares of like a ten dollar stock, for example. And if that stock goes down 50 cents, right? Mm -hmm. And your risk is you're risking 50 to make 150. You get out the trade. So you lost $50, right? You lost $50 on that trade. Now, say you do another trade that week, similar setup. You buy like 100 shares of a stock and it goes down 50 cents, right? Which you can, you get out the trade because you're risking. But imagine that stock or company you bought, say the same $10 stock, and it goes to $11.50. So it moves up $1.50 you made $150, right? But ideally, you made $50, right? Because 
that hundred dollars canceled out the losses of the other two trades. Made it. Got it. It's very simple. So imagine doing that risk reward, risking 500 to make 1500, right? It doesn't matter the math, it's the risk and the reward. So now let's take that risk to reward back to trading. If you're a diligent trader and you know the probabilities, right? I know my average trades out of three trades, I should be getting on average my score, at least 85%, I should be getting two out of those three trades right because I know myself. If I get all three trades wrong, it's not the market, right? Because the market, you're going to get losses. That's what happens. Just like any business, a decision you make, a real estate investor, a lawyer, uh, any you're going to have clients or things that's not going to work. But if I have three trades in a row, that's something I did wrong. That's something I didn't anticipate to happen. So I have to check myself. The same thing as another business. If you take on three jobs as a painter and you didn't profit from it, you underbid the job. Yes. You did something wrong, right? So I always like to relate it to other professions to let you know you're totally in control when it comes to the market, but many people can't control that, right? Because you're dealing directly with money, right? <laughs> but you learn how to control that, which is the hardest thing. I just gave like, everybody's watching, that's so simple, right? You know, a risk reward plan. So I can get two of those trades wrong and just get that one right and I still profit. 50 bucks. Sure. Because I have a plan of action. Yes. Right. Many people come into this and they don't have a plan. Right. Oh, I I love it. And and it that made sense to me, right? Like, Mm -hmm. like it took off off the pressure of having to be perfect, having to be right, having that overwhelming feeling, you know, Mm -hmm. knowing that that there is a plan. I think. I think the biggest thing that you said that that just kind of stands out from from um, some of the ads that I see in in this space, right, is that so many don't know what happens when it goes wrong. Correct. They don't, and they don't know how to fix it. Yeah. So mm-hmm. part of part of what I always tell people is that you don't really become a real coach until what you have people do doesn't work, because mm-hmm. then you know you have to go okay. This doesn't work for, is it the industry? Is it the theory? Is it the timing, right? It could be all these things that we now have to go in and fix. And just the fact that you were breaking down, um, like what would happen, it makes it so simple to know that you know how to fix it. Correct. And that's when I would trust you, right? I'd be like, all right, all right. (laughs) I trust you to to help me help me through this. So now do you guys have like different levels? Like, like who is like your favorite ideal customer that you really like to work with? Like, do they have to have a minimum amount of money? How does it work? So I currently, I wasn't intimidated in the beginning. Our oldest client we got was like two years ago. He was 70 years old. Now he's 72, but I like working with older clients now and people who don't know absolutely nothing I love that because when you come in my ecosystem, the hardest thing is for people to do. So my average clients I normally get have lost between 70 to $120,000 in the market. On average, that's what I get. I get uh, people that are homeowners, family people. Then I get you know more mature clients. I like people who just know how to listen and can just put away everything. So it's not about money with trading. It's about confidence. That's why I gave you that example of just risking $50 to make $150. We all have money, right? And that's why I tell all my clients, you have money, but you just don't have the confidence to use that money. Because if you're walking around with a nice bag, a nice car, a $5,000, a $10,000 vacation, you can use that to invest, but you don't have the confidence. 
Right. My goal is for you to develop that confidence in order to level up trading. So like even when my students first start and I don't want them to make a lot of money, <laughs> they already know that. Like I say, listen, as soon as you see green close out the trade, right? Once they start after the simulation process, because the more wins you have, the better you feel, the better you feel, the most com more confidence. And I always teach like in illustrations, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's just the same thing, you know, how Jesus did. Right. So it's like your, your daughter, right. Taking the first couple of steps yeah. just to the table. Then she turns around and you, ah! like they did everything. <laughs> Like they they send me their uh simulation. I made fifty dollars. Like oh, like you know. Then the next, she taking a little bit more steps, and you. Then eventually, she gonna feel comfortable walk to the other couch. Yep. Right. But if you keep falling, keep falling, you're never gonna get it. So my students know when people come in. That's why I let them know. Like everybody gets losses in trading. That's the name of the game. But we build your mind to have controlled losses, right? As well as control wins. So when people come to me, they say, oh, I just want a little bit of money. I don't have a lot of money to start. And I always tell them, I say, you have the money. You just don't feel confident yet, right? And sooner or later, after they get the right education and they build a car, all of a sudden they find this money to fund their account. <laughs> they find this money to trade because they feel much more confident now in order to do it. You know, and you don't need a lot of money to start. That's why I always mention this is education because I've get, gotten clients that started off small. Then all of a sudden, you know, they get a raise at their job or a settlement or life changes. Then they come back and they want to get more of an advanced course. Hey, because they they seen it before. And that's one of the biggest things with some people. They tasted the success at one point. Yeah. Now they're trying to see, like, what if I actually know what I'm doing? And I, <laughs> you know, and I can control myself. Yeah. Yeah, you no, know? I love it. I love it. it. It is truly, you know, how just even that growth process of how mm -hmm. they go through it. I, I know exactly how that happens. It's mm -hmm. they'll find the money, right? When you start winning, it's a, I told you that I spent 30 years in Vegas. You know, I know I don't look that old, but <laughs> it's all right. And that's like the brand new people who come to Vegas. Go, I would never gamble. How much? Oh, my first $20, I would stop. And I go, okay. Until <laughs> you win on that first $20. Correct. And then mm -hmm. you keep gambling. And then all of a sudden now you've risked, you know, you're all in because you think that you are like a genius. So, you mm -hmm. know, Vegas markets to that. Like if you if you say that that you've got some money to to gamble, you know, Vegas is like, here, we'll give you cheap food. Right. If you say you've got a system, they go, wait a minute, you got a system. Yeah, I got a system that I know it'll work in Vegas. They'll send a plane for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> because yeah. They're like, there's no way your system is going to work here. But it is all in that, in that confidence. I love the, uh, the confident. I always talk about confident clarity. You know, a lot of people say, if I, if I, I'm just, I'm just confused. I just don't know. It's like, no, you don't just need clarity. You need confident clarity to hang in there through mm -hmm. the good times and the bad times. Cause nothing is perfect, right? There's all ups and downs, but it gives you the indication, but I love the, uh, the, that you have simulation. And then before you start before you start investing real money, I was going to say gambling, right? Before you start <laughs> investing real money, it all makes sense. But that is that is perfect. So the older, younger, little bit of money, a lot of money, um, they can all make sense at the all, all benefit. Yep. That is perfect. So, you know, you are different in that when you came to CAU, you had like, you had 90% of this stuff already dialed in right? Mm -hmm. Like you were already a fantastic business owner. So what attracted you to come and hang out at Client Attraction University? I needed more structure. I needed more structure. Whereas a lot of the stuff that I've been doing, like our business has been established like since 
2016, Latoya and I have been trading and showing like receipts and stuff since like 2014. And a big shift happened around like 2018. It was like all of these people, everybody's a trader. Like all of these people just got online and it just seemed like they just superseded us. And we've been doing this for so long. So I felt some type of way, like what is going on? And like, you know, we were more focused on, okay, showing people what we can do, right? And explaining so they can, and we still are, trust in us. And only if we can get in front of an audience like that to be able, like I'm doing now, to be able to explain what we actually do. And I had no clue on how to do that. Mm-hmm. Hence, client attraction, universal. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why <clears throat> when I did my research and I started talking to some people in the industry and I was like, all right, you know, that's when they say, you know, um, client attraction, with Marquel and Dre, you know, go check them out. They should be able to put something together for you and help you out. Like, you know, I didn't see none of the ads. I just like, boom, you know, I just got directly in there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So because I wasn't on social, that's one of the biggest things. I wasn't a social media person either. I was just doing my thing. So I wasn't nowhere near to see that. But fortunately, I like to talk to people and associate and I got led into that direction. Uh, that's awesome. So when you first got here, you know, well, now you're the, look, he wasn't social media and now he's the mean <laughs> king um, <Yep>. <laughs> and just taking that over. And also like, I love to see your post. It's like a $2,000 profit, $1,800. You know, this client made more than their salary in the last year. Mm-hmm. This one made like, like your wins are, are ridiculous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. What happened once you got to CAU? Like after the shell shock of, oh, this social media thing, we can make this work. Mm. But, you know, what were what were some of your results? My results was like 10 times, even my business, like financially, like the course itself and everything else is like a no brainer <sighs> at this point, because it put me in front of people that I wanted to work with mm-hmm. it was very important. Because even though we show receipts and we show stuff with students, I want to make it realistic to that person and not be, push a hype that's unexpected for them. You know, like our program, even before Latoya and I created it, it took like a year for us to do and how we wanted people to see. So, and not everybody's going to be receptive to that. Because people want to learn stuff in a week or two and boom, boom, boom. And I'm not against those educators that do that. I wanted to be in front of somebody like I can enjoy talking to and teaching that would listen. Mm -hmm. So when I got in the program, it allowed me to create video content and allow me to find people that I can serve better that would make me feel comfortable, more comfortable in my business. Right. Because I was like, where are these people at? They got to be somewhere. I know they're not on here. I know they're not here. And I couldn't compete with the noise. Yeah. Right. And I know a lot of people don't want the noise. So able to find, um, put together in the program, make sure I got my messaging done the right way. Got somebody to review my messaging at the same time and guide me with the right content to make sure I get into that home or in front of that person that wants my services. And that by doing that, it makes me get the people that listen, number one. Then those people that listen, I know they're going to get be successful because our program is very strategic. So now I'm getting more successful clients. Then after that, now I'm getting more customer testimonials, right? Now I'm getting more content to put out. So it's just like, that's where, that's where it helped me do that. So with the more content, the more customer success, the more valuable I become because I'm changing more lives, even though it's a passion of mine, but also still as a business, because we're growing in revenue and that allows us as a business to grow in revenue, to hire more people. 
So with CAU, now I'm hiring more staff members. I'm able to take students that were great traders and make them into coaches. So now my company that just went from just me and Latoya and I is starting to build and grow and grow and grow. And that allows us to be able to serve more people, but also be able to give more uh, clients the stuff that they need at the same time. So it's not like, even though our company is growing and growing, it's not like we're spreading ourselves thin. It allows us to build and still be with that client at the same time. But I never knew that stuff. So when I got the training... (laughs) Yeah. So you see, you're like, like, you weren't supposed yeah. to know it, right? We we yeah, get to yeah, learn exactly. something every single day. Like they mm-hmm. make, yeah. um, and I think that's what happens. Like, like sometimes we all are so enveloped in what we do that we think that everybody knows that, right? And yeah. I think we got to really just leverage your genius because you are just a genius. Oh, <laughs> like, like listening to you because of what makes you a genius is be able to take a very complicated thing and make it very simple. Like, I feel like, all right, you know, I can find a couple <laughs> thousand. Like I need yeah. to figure this thing out. Like, uh, like I'm excited about it. Whereas mm-hmm. before I was like, very no afraid. Way. Yeah. Very afraid. Very afraid. Very afraid of, Yes, you know, I'm good at some things, but I'm not good at that. And mm-hmm. I'm not good at, but if I know that I've got, okay, as soon as it turns green, I can get my money back. Well, well, okay. You know, I think a lot of it is just understanding the rules right? and understanding the way that you explain it makes it very simple. So I know that you are a, a great, great, great teacher. So through, throughout this journey, what's kind of your favorite thing about CAU that you like? Like, you know, is there one thing that you say, oh, my gosh, I just love that part of CAU? I like the most part is around the vulnerability of the other, you know, members, because a lot of people like I remember one of the things with Marquel says, it's not easy for a, a man, especially a black man to to listen to another black man. Right. And you have to humble yourself in order to do that. Like I tell my students and I try to lead by example. I said, if you just listen and I could show you what to do. Right. So that's the same thing. Like I'm just listening, you know, and sometimes I'm not hearing what I'm supposed to hear. You know, sometimes it could come across a little offensive, but it's not offensive because you got to turn that down as a man. Like I'm, I'm paying for coaching. If somebody telling me I'm doing something wrong, you got to listen to them. Right. And I see that amongst other people on my same statue, like everybody, like I see them not almost getting like reprimanded, but in a great way and vice versa. Like even when we talk and things like that, it's because now you're putting yourself amongst people who want to be successful, who see this in their they're checking their egos and all this other stuff for the benefit of just growing personally and also their business. Right. And a lot of people, especially in the social media age and stuff like that, you know, they may have a chip on their shoulder or feel like they're the man or they're the woman or something like that. And I don't like like environments like that, because at the, at the end of the day, I want to be in a safe space amongst other entrepreneurs where I can vent and say something. Cause you know, I've been all the time. I'll say like, cause I'm not going to be embarrassed. I'm not a person that is not embarrassed. Some people are. And I tell the same thing with my students. I said, when we get on these calls and stuff like that, I get students that cry like, cause they get upset. I just things in general, cause you are learning something new, right? You got frustrations. It's like, oh, it's okay. That's the emotion. So that's what the environments for me is like, you know, if I'm going with something, I got to vent. It's like, all right, I'm not going to be judged. You know what I mean? So, but I got somebody that can listen who might have been through that problem. So that that's one of the biggest things for me. You know, even though the, you know, the other information is just you hear something that could just shift your whole momentum of your business and still make you a lot of money, you know, <laughs> being in that room. Yeah. <laughs> No, we, we love to hear that because 
that's um, the one thing that that if you if you know Mark Well at all, even from his online persona, right? It's not a persona. It's him. Mm-hmm. It's just him. It's him. Correct. Gold teeth, tattoo, and all. It's just him. And so one of the one of his main proponents is vulnerability and like you know we can't help you if we don't know right correct but we will do our best <laughs> you know to get mm-hmm. you there so if you tell us we're gonna we're gonna use you know my 30 years of experience his 15 years dre's 15 years and put it all together and just and get you to where you want to go to so that's um awesome that you that you feel it that you feel mm-hmm. very safe and that you feel like you're in a in a safe spot for that so wh- what do you have next for the profit room like what what's what's your next big 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 thing you know you've already p- surpassed so many places that people want to do you know most mm-hmm. of them want to do it in a month year, or a year you're already doing it in in your monthly income so so what kind of impact are you trying to make in this world <sighs> it's so much that we have we're trying to do more with children young adults and kids like one of the biggest things that that we was talking before we have like two programs that are basically done one for children it's called Wise Kids Invest. That's like already created. You know, that's the creation I have. And we also have another one like the Financial Literacy Club. Mm. And that's what we're trying to put because a lot of people, they want to talk about trading right away. They want to try about investing right away. Right. Which is cool. But sometimes they don't even understand the regular financial literacy side of it. So like for years, we were creating content already on the side for that purpose right and so the the other cau um uh, member the gentleman in there he has a school in chicago like chicago so i'm speaking with him and i'm gonna probably run a test pilot with his program first in front of his students which is great which i want to do in order to get the feedback and that's another thing from the program. You meet people like that. Cause like, Hey bro, I got this children's program. I want to run it out. He said, bro, come test it in front of my children first. And so I was like, cool. Cause I need a good feedback before I let everybody know about it. But a lot of that stuff right there isn't necessarily, uh, it's just, it's just something that we want to give back to that is going to make us look even better on our end with trading and investing like that. Yeah. You know, so it's like, OK, you come to us for trade and investment, but, you know, we got this thing for the children where it's like, huh, boom, we can sit it in your lap because it's one of those things that whoever is given financial literacy is great. It's cool. But there's a way where just like everybody's creativity. I love to teach certain things. And just like I was like teaching and talking to you, talking to you. I thrive on trying to break it down so simplified to make it even more impactful. So I'm like, oh, that's a challenge for me to do that with younger children, right? So that's what I want to do with that part. Oh, love it. Love it. That's so exciting because truly where most adults have their challenges is that they don't understand finances at all. Like they don't understand, like, I know you want that car but paying $800 a month for 84 months makes no sense. You can't afford that car. (laughs) Like at some point you're not going to make it like, this is just bad. And, and I I don't know if, if um, I mean, it's just been lost. So I love what you're doing. I love what you are currently doing. Um, We are so honored and proud to have you as a client and to Mm -hmm. help you get the word out and to let everybody know about the profit room because you guys are amazing, absolutely amazing. And just, you know, are just serious about getting results. So if you are serious about getting results, if you've got some money just sitting there and you are closer to retirement age than you want to be kind of like, somebody over here (laughs) and you want to have your money working for you, please reach out to my friend, Ernest here at the profit room. So where do they find you, Ernest? How can they find you on social? Oh, everything is the profit room. You can go to our YouTube channel. It's great to go to YouTube channel because we have a lot of student interviews Mm -hmm. because I like for people to see the type of people we work with because you may find yourself in them as well, but anything on social media, uh, you could go to the, the profit room.com. And if you want to work, 
directly with me, you can go to workwithearnest.com. Got a little free video for you there as well. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. And if you would like some of the results that Ernest has gotten here uh, with the Profit Room and you'd like to come over to CAU and have a good time, you can go to, uh, we have events, the Client Attraction Made Easy event is probably one of our favorites. It's a one-day event that we do kind of every quarter, uh, clientattractionmadeeasy.com. Or if you want to know our Facebook ad strategy, you can go to paidadplaybook.com and check that out there. Thank you so much for checking out this episode. Have a phenomenal day because you absolutely deserve it. Talk to you soon. What's the difference between you and mega successful coaches and consultants with a dream business? Simple. They're getting more leads than you are. What if there was a way to get 50 to 100 leads every single day like clockwork? Would you want it? Then go to www.getdailyclients.com to access our paid ad playbook that has brought in millions of leads for our clients over the years on complete autopilot. This is the podcastfactory.com.